in a journey. So to some extent, it was, you know, it's part of me in a way. Yeah. And could um, we go a bit slower uh, on that yeah. combination? Introvert. Yeah. yeah. N is, uh, was, what does the N stand uh, for? I've forgotten that. I've forgotten. I mean, we've both uh, forgotten. Um, the T is a thinking type. No, 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 INFP. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, that's yeah, me. I'm, yeah, I'm T. Yeah. I N F is a feeling type feeling, rather than the thinking. Yeah, feeling, perceiving, um, and intuitive. The I is, is, in, is in, introverted. Introverted, introverted, introverted. The N we can't remember. I, the T, the F, the F is feeling. Yeah. And, and the P, P is perceiving. perceiving, whereas I'm J, which is judging. Right. So mm. this means you hold a project in a different way from a from an INTJ. Oh, I I think that's true. Yeah, and um, yeah, like because as a whole, I, in my talks now, I, there's a lot more of the backstory, sort of. Right. And and I I don't know if you saw my little video. No of fundraising. No, no. no, no I but you know, no. I, I, it starts with a ball of clay, which became the sculpture. Which, oh, oh, sorry, yes, yes, yeah, I which remember then goes that. out to Spain so and I few months meditate yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, figure. And all then, this from a ball of clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then so, yeah, so yeah. for me, this yeah. is this is all part of the ball of clay unfolding, and and it's not like it's heading in any known direction. It's, it's there's an emergent process in it, mm. which is um, still in a direction unknown. And I suppose at the moment, what's happening is. Uh, yeah, you know, quite quickly over this year, it's becoming a venue, you know. And yeah, you, I the, mean, how many things have you got this year in the program? Uh, well, that's quite a few. Quite a few. So, yeah, it's, it's not the so you know, and the thing is, it's working, and people love it, and they want to come back. So I yeah. guess that's setting the scene for further involvement. And the, but yeah, so but then I'm aware that I hold attention. It's mm. not like I just I said about I'm going to make a retreat centre, which is just. You know, like mm. on the basis of most retreat centres, it's 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 come out of my own internal. It's your land and your hard work. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, and sort of how it gets owned or whatever is something I do think about, and I don't have solution. I don't have an answer yet. Mm. Uh, but but yeah, I am aware that there's more to come. You know, there's more to come with this process. Yeah. But I, the truck why I work is I don't know what it's going to be. At some stage, I yeah. want, I'll ask you. Um, you know, yeah. could you imagine putting it in the ownership of a company and selling your shares off? And, and then when you're at yeah. that stage yeah. where you think I'm willing to yeah. let go of the controlling yeah. controlling part, you yeah. let go of the controlling part. Well, or I not, as the yeah. case may well, be. Well, it yeah, may be that you uh, sell, sell uh, uh, 49 percent of shares off and never go over. It needs to be. It needs to be congruent with uh, with this process for me. Sure. Because I don't actually, in a way, the garden itself is sort of much more minor to me than the the sort of the direction, the soul journey that informs it. Does that make sense? All oh, right. It's sometimes it's a soul some, journey, yeah. sometimes projects take on a life of their own yeah. and become an, and become an end. Yeah. You think I've got this thing. It's well, a garden. I, it's. Like, I think that I think most people, from what I observe, yeah. it's like. We have this need. We need a retreat centre. We're going to manipulate the world to make the retreat centre, mm -hmm. and then the, the, all your efforts go towards achieving that. Whereas this has worked from the bottom up. This has started, like I said, with a ball of clay, mm. and gone through all these transformations, which I never expected. And part of it involves like a big meltdown in Spain, and then finding well, I couldn't really meditate. So, and I got given mm. this land. You might have achieved, right? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, um, the, the uh, sanctuary, the field, yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. The, uh, um, that was Lord Henbury, yeah. So what I could do is work on the land, you know. Mm. But it, and now I look back. Now I've got that sculpture, the, yeah, yeah. The, the carving. Yeah. When I saw that, I immediately understood that was an integration of a very long-term process. So, mm. and, so this is the soul journey that informs all this stuff. And so basically, how I describe it is. Mm. Um, um, when I was out in Spain, I was like a tr the tree of my being was. I was had this idea. I was trying to reach towards the light of the sun, and I was. Uh, and then eventually, I, the tree fell over. Oh, yeah. Because with and your health. Well, uh, a sort of meltdown. Really, which yes. I, I had no. There were no maps to understand where I was, and right. I couldn't meditate. You know, I couldn't practice the spiritual life in any known form. But then I happened to get given the land for, mm. the, for the sculpture. And so I was just out for the next five, six years. I was just went out there and made this sanctuary and this quite sort of vulnerable state. To work with your metaphor, yeah. What happened to the tree that fell over? Well, uh, for about sixteen years, I could do nothing um, other than just. I just found myself on these land projects. So first of all, the sanctuary, and then the forest garden, mm -hmm. and then last year when I saw that, I sort of realised that was a time at which. The tree, the tree, mm. 
had been re-established because I've been sort of putting roots down for the last 16 years. Yeah, so which it had was a, composted. Down yeah, which was a counterbalance to the yeah. earlier stage, which was all about that. So just trying to go up. I mean, that's, that's what youth is often about. Yeah, it just is. trying to go up, upwards. So, and, yeah. so, so both these land-based projects for me personally have been about grounding. Mm. And, and actually, um, because I've been able to practice formally, I think what I've realised is how I can practice is quite an environment which is perhaps like a pure land, so it works from the outside in, mm -hmm. unlike meditation which is sort of the inside out. So I'm trying to create a world which is congruent to those higher mental states. Or oh, oh, and then it influences you back again. Yeah, yeah. well um, that's, that's what I'm noticing with people who come there, they're saying, oh, you yeah, know, my mental state feels, I feel like I've, I've had people do hardcore building with me. I feel like something about it. Yeah. yeah, they say there's something about it. Yeah, there's yeah. There's even just like I've walked through the gate and I'm just sort of my mental state of track. So you know, like it's lovely for me to hear that because like it's mm. a sort of sign that that pr approach does work. But it's not like. So can I can I come up with my parallel to that? Because yeah. you're helping something land mm. for me, which is that um, I want. <sighs> There was a fire on mm. Hastings Pier. Mm. I thought this is a wonderful opportunity for a community mm. restorative mm. justice process. I went to Hastings, lived in Hastings, tried to make it happen, you know, um, asked Amber Rudd if mm. there could be exclusion from prosecution for anyone who gets involved in a mediation process, for example. Ministry of Justice wasn't, wasn't obliging on that one. But um, anyhow, there were a number of things that, 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 that took place, but I was wanting to make a specific thing happen mm. out there, mm. and I used up half my inheritance mm. on, on, on that. Mm. And then I thought, oh, I really need to spend more time in the woods. I've mm. kind of burnt myself mm. out. Mm. And I bought one woodland up near Sheffield um, Buddhist Centre, and then the second one, which is in some respects is a more successful purchase, um, in southwest in southwest Wales, mm. and now I'm the custodian of land, mm. and that land has a lot to teach me. Yeah. And by having the responsibility for land, mm. I can no longer shout like I did as a as, mm. as a youth and mm. wrote poems to mm. those who are landed gentry. Yeah. Why don't you share mm. it out yeah. more and all the yeah. rest of it? Sure. I have a responsibility as someone who mm. owns land and can watch the unfolding mm. of of, mm. of nature. Yeah. And that hopefully teaches mm. me to be a more responsible, dignified mm. person yeah. in, in, in relation to mm. the, the, mm. the awesome way in which nature is mm. unfolding on, sure. that, on, sure. on, that, on that land. Mm. So I feel more grounded and taught by nature mm. in a similar way to, to what I was hearing you mm. say, mm. rather than I'm just going to go out there and make mm. this happen in yeah. the world, yeah. which, is what I, which is what I tried to do Finish before life. and yeah. found, some, found, found some blocks that, mm. that that nature is there as a teacher mm. and a place for us to relate to mm. long term one mm. particular or two particular pieces mm. of uh, pieces, pieces of land and if we just watch it rather than start building on it yeah. <laughs> then we'll begin to learn things sure. so uh, mm. that was really good advice I was given when you buy a piece of woodland don't change it at mm. all in mm. the first year sure. just watch what it what the land mm. does mm. and slowly think about how you can work with that sure yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess for me, the process has been really ma magical, actually. Like, mm. like you know, the first bit of land I got given. Yeah. And and so, sort of in a way, money hasn't come into it particularly, and mm. uh, it's not like it seems to me by keeping true to the, to the sort of the sole purpose of my life, sort of almost magical thing happened. But mm. you know, I was I don't know if you know the story, but I was I had this big meltdown, and I I was as a therapy out in Spain, because I couldn't meditate anymore, I started making the plinth and the nimbus for the practice of yeah, yeah. And I thought, why am I doing this? You know, and then I, uh, you know, I think I'm needing to make a sanctuary for the figure, like a, a context. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but that was ridiculous, because, you know, it was in a bit of a mess and I had no money. Mm -hmm. But then I went to the Buddha Festival, and within two days of leaving Spain, you I, got, land. I got given land. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you can't plan for that, you know. You can't sort of, um, yeah. And yeah. I find I find that things proceed for me a bit in that way. That sort of the, the the resources come from really unexpected ways. Was there any way in which you were at Buddhafield that year mm. that might have contributed to that landing in your lap? Well, were, were you being receptive? Were you well, being I was, pushy? Yeah, were because you... I saw the tight. I was in Spain in the split state, and just thinking I've done a four and a half year retreat, made a sculpture, you know, I've got this trajectory, but what follows that experience, you know, mm. like, 
you know what what follow I just had I didn't have a you, you a just thing. had an open question I had a completely open yeah so this is the way I proceed it's just right. like, like dwelling and the sort of like the, the white light of not knowing yeah and the, the, the discomfort of like this too so what <laughs> you, what follows that you know it's yeah. just like I, I was off the map in terms of like this yeah. cri spiritual crisis I had no no one was telling me you're going through X, Y, or Z. It's like yeah. it, it's, I, I'm I'm having to work this out myself. And so, and then I thought I I spent a year doing this. Mm -hmm. It's got plenty of numbers. It was painfully slow. And then I thought it gradually dawned on me like it does only in hindsight that what's being asked of me is to make this world for the sculpture. And then thinking, okay, it's a, that's that ink was a sanctuary. And then. Um, well, how's that going to happen? That's a bit of a, almost like sort of thinking that's a ridiculous idea. And then the, the title of the festival is Mythic Journeys to Sacred Places. And I thought, hang on, well, that's exactly what I'm being asked to do. So I need to be at the festival. Oh, that's why you went across. Yeah, that's why I did. Title, oh, my God, it's in nine days. So I, I loaded oh, up. Oh, wow. Okay. I loaded up my... Um, and it was, and a removal were, lorry which yeah. took the sculpture into the land and oh. that's what caused the and someone saw it and so I really like yeah. the sculpture oh, I, I saw it at that retreat yeah. as well but I wasn't in a position yeah. to offer and you anything there yeah. so would you like some land for it and oh. then he goes and shows me and I, I couldn't have um, with all the money in the world I couldn't have found a, a more perfect place mm. to create the sanctuary so he just and, sort of and a place that ended up in some way leading to the next place exactly yeah so yeah. So, so for me it doesn't it doesn't kind of work to clarity of knowing where I'm going, I almost didn't need to not go where I'm going. Yeah, I mean the old adage, yeah. um, or axiom, or oh, I'm not very good at yeah. words like that, mm. uh, this proverb mm. is, is, or something, is that life mm. um, only makes sense backwards, but mm. has to be lived forwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like travelling backwards on a train. Yeah. Well, travelling backwards on a train, the yeah. research is very clear that yeah. people arrive mm. in a more relaxed yeah. state, they're not anticipating no. the future, they're just looking at what's passing what's passed by, by yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Do come and talk about Hridayabija. <laughs> You'll be on camera for a moment, but I can edit you out if you're oh, nervous about yeah, that. Please continue. Yeah. I'm yeah. interrupting. That's all right. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, yeah. I mean, what I would like to round off in the, yeah. in, in, in the dialogue is, mm. is to find a little bit more peace around this um, concept of competition that we came up against well, I, I think, last, la, la, yeah, last, last I, I, year. I, I, I guess things have unfolded for me and like there are other events happening so I guess you know like I didn't know that's what would you know I was at the beginning of that process and I just sort of thought um, so I, is, is, I, there I less, is there less tightness around well, around yeah, yeah, holding I mean, I, on to retreatants well at the same um, at the same time I, I would have preferred to build upon what we did but, but yeah, you know, that, as, a, as a preference, but sure. you know, like I understand that. A Lobin didn't have a wish to come back two years consecutively okay. to East Devon Forest Garden. Okay. And I don't think now he's got a wish to come back to Refuge yeah. Tree Woods okay. two years yeah. consecutively. Yeah. He, pro he was expecting a retreat of 20 people this year. Yeah. Turned out to be just four of us. Right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, one of whom was Andy Slack, who was yeah. pleased to see a new yeah. project that he hadn't mm -hmm. seen before. So I don't think you've in any way been done out of no, uh, no, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. of business, and yeah, I'd like there yeah. to mm -hmm. to be the possibility mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. either you or other people who mm -hmm. you see um, mm -hmm. might pay an interest in another Buddhafield fringe project without mm -hmm. it feeling like competition. But yeah. here's somewhere else you can go and see something else. Sure, sure. So, I mean, so it's an interesting edge that are, there's we, an edge, are we competing? Are we yeah. complementing? How do we how, how do we make it work yeah. better? Well, you know, I guess you know I've been doing this for seven years full time, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'll only get to do it full time once my dad yeah, da yeah. died, and I'm building that yeah. walkway yeah. for five years. Yeah, and yeah, a lot of that incredibly difficult, and like almost yeah. with no resources. Yeah, and so yeah, I guess, uh, and actually I felt you know a surprising lack of sort of like hey you know like. Look at that situation. We could, it could do with some some support in a way. Not a surprising that, lack of yeah yeah. Oh, I felt that. You could do with oh, I felt very isolated and very sort of like you know like I've just been diagnosed with it, multiple sclerosis and partner left and um, you know yeah. like, like just just a pretty difficult situation. In fact, I, don't know, I was a bit suicidal for quite a while. That's a very and, honest. Uh, yeah, and, and it's yeah. just like how I'm going to get out of this. So that's yeah. I had no 
perception of how it could evolve or emerge from that point. Like, without.